Now at this point, you may be wondering, is this actually useful? Or is Green's Theorem one of those you know just a useful theorems. I'm doing scare quotes here. Well, look, we wouldn't be here unless this was really, truly useful, but in Green's theorem case, it's going to be eventually useful. We can use it for flux, we can use it for circulation, but now it's bonus time. There's a lot more that can be done with Green's theorem besides just circulation and flux. For example, if you go on to take a course in dynamical systems, you will learn something called index theory. Incredibly cool, incredibly useful, really needs Green's theorem and the perspectives therein. That's not the only course where you'd see this. If you take a complex analysis course, then you'll be using things like Green's theorem all the time when you're doing contour integrals. And, and if you want to see some cool applications to approximation in data, you'll learn about this application of Green Serum later when we get to the future. But for now, you're having a dream, a dream of forms and wonders, because Green's theorem in the plane is simply the two-dimensional projection of a deeper, higher theorem, Stokes' theorem, which uses a differentiation of forms to explain everything. But that lies in your future.